What's up guys, it's the Hufflepuff Gamer back, and today I wanted to play some Ultra Sun, uh, just to show you guys some different games, different games, different things in the game, and kind of show you how I'm doing on my game and everything, so, let's hit play. Okay, uh, I was just hunting for legendaries not too long ago, when I was on here last. So I'm gonna fly to the Pokemon Center real quick. Okay, so I've only gotten three of the tappings so far, because I am having a really hard time catching Capucini. Um, out of my legendaries, I've caught Moltres, uh, Articuno, and Groudon. I don't think I've caught any more. I've caught four freaking Nihilegos so far. They're getting so annoying. Uh, that's just my living diet. Uh, here's some Magna Pokemon. I have my Porygon I got, my Event Medgear, and I have my Event Pikachu. I'm not really going to look at Pokemon too long, because I am going to show you guys one quick way to earn money, and then I'm going to show you guys, well not show you guys this, but I'm going to do some Ultra Wormhole writing. So if you go up to Pony Plains, no, that's not. Is that it? Yeah, Pony Plains. Fly to Pony Plains. And then if you do Hop on Tauros, and go down here. I'm currently working on getting my Kamala armor, so I've been doing this quite a bit lately. But the three things you have a chance of getting from here is Stardust, which is the cheapest item. And then you can also get Star Pieces and Comet Shards. Which, Star Pieces are 6,000 a piece, Star Dust are 1,500, and a Comet Shard is 30,000. There's another Star Dust. Another Star Dust? Jesus. Okay, nothing in that rock. Oh, sorry guys, my camera keeps going in and out of focus. Another star piece. I'm trying to see if I can get like a star piece or something. Show you guys start off. Isn't the only thing you guys can get here? Wow. Okay. Why did I just come back? Oh, this. Okay. Let's go one more time. And if we don't get it, I'm just going to show you guys another way to make a quick few grand. Uh, these star pieces still aren't going to come to me today. There we go, there's a star piece. So you guys can also get comic shards, but obviously those are way rarer to get. Okay. Next, we are going to fly to Ula Ula Island and go to Potem. Or Route 17 is how you get to Potem. And then just go inside. And you guys want to go past these team uh, skull grunts and in this one, and then go into this hole, and then go to this guy, and he's going. Originally, he says like, "Oh, I have some uh, secret merch, but if you want it, you have to battle me." So after day, after like two days, he's just like, "So you're back? Well, if you want the merch, and then just say I'll battle you." And he gives you the same thing every time, you just have to pay for it. But it's a very, very big discount, so... Uh, he just has two psychic types, he has an LGM and a Metang. So, 
So I'm going to X scissor this. Okay, so then after you beat him, um, he will say, well, well, well. I've seen some trainers in my time, but you're top notch, I'll give you that. And then he sells you a big nugget for 5000 And if you guys don't know this, big nuggets actually sell for a lot more than that. So we're going to head back over to, why can't I think of the name of this island? Pony Island. We're going to head back over to Pony Island. And I will show you guys that this sells for a great, a lot of money. Oh, wrong one. Okay, so then, okay, you guys can't see this. They will give you 20000 for something you just spent $5,000 on. So you just made a profit of 15000 Plus whatever he, gave, he gives you for beating him. Mine was 3000 because I had the amulet thing. Okay, so now that we've gotten some money, we gotta go do some stuff other than just making a little bit of cash. Ugh, it keeps unfocusing. So we're going to fly to Altar of the Sun. And I'm just going to do a few warp hole rides real quick. I want to try and get it to where I'm able to easily warp, but I think I can do it from here. Maybe. Now, if you guys haven't watched very many YouTube videos about Ultra Sun and Moon, there is a feature where you can uh, change the warp hole writing from motion to joist, not joystick, the C stick. And all you have to do to do that is just go talk to. Uh, Oh crap, and now I'm trying to give you guys advice and I don't even remember what I was saying. Uh, I think he's in the Nintendo office in Hia Hia City. I'm pretty sure that's where he's at. And he'll let you switch your... He'll be like, Warp Hole Riding has two... Well, he's like, I got a secret. And he's like, Warp Hole Riding has two different features. You can ride it like this. Or you can ride it like this. And I'm like, yeah, I need to change this. Cause I, I don't know about you guys, but I hate the motions. Oh, you guys can see me. Oh, no. Hi. <sighs> it's another knee and leg. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go catch it. But I'm not going to make you guys suffer watching it, so... I'll be right back. And there we go. The Nihilego is caught. Caught on the first beast ball. The Ultra Beasts are pretty freaking easy to catch, honestly. We are not going to give it a nickname. Hold on, it's not focusing. And we're going to send to box. Let's go for another warp ride. Just hurry up and get back to the warp hole. I am definitely, if you guys can tell, I am so bad at this little mini game type thing. 
I'm not too bad at man time surfing, but we're pull riding. I am really bad at it. Maybe I should switch it to Lunala and see how I can do with Lunala. But I'll do that after this episode. I don't know why I just called it an episode. I'll do it after this video. I'll probably switch it to Lunala. So at the beginning of it's super easy because there's all these orange orbs. And then like as you guys saw earlier, there were a whole bunch of blue orbs later in the warp hole. Or in the warp ride. What sucks is when you're going so slow that you end up getting like stuck into warp holes. Uh, we're gonna dodge that white one for now. Okay, well we can at least go see if it's a shiny or something, so we'll go ahead and run down here real quick. And it's not, it's a hit the out on. Whoa, can you guys, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in my camera, it shows like a whole bunch of little like boxes on my DS screen. That's weird. Okay. Hold on, it's out of focus again. We'll go one more ride if we don't get sucked into a wormhole we weren't really wanting. Um, later on, I'm, just so you guys know, I'm going to be uploading another video. Uh, I'm going to record it after this, so hopefully it goes up tomorrow. Yeah, I know, two videos in two days in a row, that's insane. But hopefully it goes up tomorrow, uh, and you guys will get to see it. It's kind of an update video on a video I did a while back. Like a really long time ago. Gosh dang. I am so bad at this. Especially when I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. I don't want the hole! Okay. Oh, god. Oh, no! Stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Orange one. Orange one. No, not the blue one. Orange one. Somehow I dodged that blue one back there. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I somehow dodged it. And somehow I dodged that red warp hole. Also not sure how I did that. I'm gonna see if I can find like one of the ultra mega wormholes, like the ones with like two rings and like all the special stuff, but I'm starting to get like sucked toward them, so I don't think I'm gonna make it far enough. Oh, I didn't uh yeah, I'm getting sucked into that. I wasn't paying attention for a second. <laughs> Guys, this is the furthest I've ever been, though. I've never reached 3,000 light years. That's awesome. And I did it on camera. Still no shiny, though. Well, as much as I want to do another ride, uh, I think I'm going to end it with changing to Lunala real quick. Because I actually don't know how to do that, so I'll be showing you guys as well. I know you have to go to extra 
Ultra Megapolis, but I don't know if you actually have to, like, do anything. So let's hop off here. You know what, I guess I'll do one ride with Lunala. I think I talked to him. Yes, Lunala. Let's go back to the wormhole and do a ride or two with Lunala. I know I keep saying I'm gonna stop, but the ultra wormhole riding is growing on me. I'm starting to lose, uh, the ability to, like, dodge the animals now. I need to find one I'm okay with going into before I get sucked into one. Okay, I guess we'll go in this one. Did we find a legendary? We did, guys! We did it! Okay, so I'm gonna save my game real quick. I found a legend on camera. I actually don't know what legendary is gonna be found where, so I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a Cresselia! Okay guys, uh, as much as I want to record me catching this, I'm actually going to pause so I don't run out of time, so I'll be back when I've caught it. So, just a quick little update, Cresselia is at a, uh, about half health, and it just killed my Vicar Bolt. So, I think we're going to go out to a to continue the battle. And I will be back on another update soon. The stupid thing keeps using Moonlight. But I'm trying to, like, Photon Geyser it down enough so I can throw a Pokeball at it. And I had it down in the red, but it freaking used Moonlight, so I couldn't do anything. Uh, just use Slash. Taking a second Future Side attack now. Uh, I don't think I can Photon Geyser it again, so I'll try throwing a Great Ball. Okay guys, quick update, we just caught Priscilla in a beast ball. Had to use a roto catch because that thing did not want to shake even once. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end this episode. I will see you guys later. Peace!